Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2014. During the year 2013, the Biblioteca Alexandrina has completed more than 700 projects throughout its departments. Dr. Ismail Sirogdin, Director of the Biblioteca Alexandrina. Thank you very much for your time. The Biblioteca has witnessed many achievements in the year 2013. Could you please clarify to our viewers these achievements and highlight the main challenges faced throughout that year? Well, I think the most important thing about the uh, Biblioteca Alexandrina in 2013 uh, is that uh, we have retained our activities. We had over 700 events. Uh, during the year. That means two, three every day, every single day of the year. Uh, we've received almost a million visitors, a little bit under. We've received close to 600,000 reader visits. We have our hit websites get about uh, close to three million hits a day, not quite. So that means close to a billion hits a year. Uh, the library holds many, many uh, additional courses for children in arts and in sciences and the exploratorium and in uh, music and painting, which are not covered by, by these statistics. But more important, uh, I think that this year we've made a very big jump uh, because we got a uh, special gift from the Netherlands for 430,000 books. And that's the second largest book gift in history after the French uh, uh, gift book of 500,000 books, which we also got a few years ago. And this one carries us close to 2 million uh, items in our collections. So the library is really becoming a major library. Secondly, another major event this year was that we were given the Gulbenkian Award, which is a very distinguished international award. Uh, for an institution that stands for the values of pluralism and freedom of expression and for the promotion of knowledge among all people. And I think this is a great honor for the library. And in fact, the French National Library this year decided that uh, since there had not been a 10th anniversary for the Library of Alexandria, that they would hold one. And they had a special event in Paris to honor the Library of Alexandria in uh, October. And so uh, the library continues to thrive. Our projects continue to thrive. We have had uh, five new centers created this year, a center for Islamic uh, studies, a center for Coptic studies, a center for environmental studies, a center for Arabic computational linguistics, which has had major breakthroughs and the Center for Francophone Activities. That's on top of the other 10 research centers we have and the 19 museums and the permanent exhibitions that we, we maintain, plus, of course, the four uh, galleries where we receive temporary exhibitions just as we speak today. Uh, there was a number of exhibits in a number of places, and the library has maintained that thrust and maintain this position in the hearts of the Egyptian people. Despite all the political changes that have taken place, the library really is seen as a national institution. Uh, it has not been the target of any attacks. Uh, on uh, two occasions, uh, stray bullets uh, broke glass panes that we have to change, but the, the library itself was not a target. These were stray bullets. Now, Granted that you can get hurt or killed by a stray bullet just as badly as, a, uh, as an intentional bullet, but it, it was not. The library was not attacked by anybody. And uh, it was welcomed uh, uh, by the preceding regime, by the current regime. So I think that the library is now seen by everybody the same way that the young people who did our revolution saw it when they held hands to protect the library 
and say, this is the Library of Alexandria, nobody touches it. And that compelling vision has been reiterated now. And as you can see, we are doing our best to continue to serve them uh, without allowing the turbulence that we are going through in the country to impact on our services. What are your futuristic plans for the year 2014 for the Biblioteca Alexandrina? Well, I would imagine that the first thing is to actually bring the two 430,000 books and we are going to start with uh, packing them on the 6th of January. So a few weeks later they should be shipped and a few weeks later they should arrive from the Netherlands and uh, then we'll have to uh, integrate them with uh, the collections and maintain the, the identity and, and, and recognition for the donor. We have uh, our new centers have taken off and they're doing extremely well, but I expect them to do even better next year. We have a number of projects, including computational Arabic linguistics, which will have programs whose accuracy level will be at the desired level of 95 to 98%, which would enable us to release them to the public. Right now they are released to specialists who are reviewing them. They're already about 90% accuracy, which is uh, remarkable for this kind of very complex work. I expect us to produce a lot more of our publications, to put more material on the web, make more material available, reach out more into Egypt and uh, I think, above all, to be the, indeed the place for people to uh, meet and have dialogue and learning and understanding between people and cultures in Egypt. In addition, we will reaffirm our place as a leading institution of the digital age and in the process, I think, uh, also live up to our other objectives of being the world's window on Egypt and Egypt's window on the world. Dr. Ismail Sirogdin, Director of the Biblioteca Alexandrina. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.